Welcome to the Windows channel and this is a little tips and tricks for Windows 10 users. One of the things that often we want to try to get when we are on our batteries with the laptops or tablet is to try to have the longest battery life possible. And there's a few things that actually make a PC use a lot of battery life and that's um, probably the number one is the screen brightness. The uh, number two would be the, um, you know, um, the computer itself when it is actually using a lot of CPU power. It drains the battery much more. So in our little tips and tricks, I'm just going to show you that there's a very easy switch that you can actually just turn on or off when you're on battery. And it's a battery saver switch. So basically, you just go to your settings in Windows 10. Uh, in Fault Creators Update, you go into System, and on the left side you'll see Battery. So here you have all sorts of information. It tells you here, for example, right now I'm on battery, I'm at 67% of the battery. It says that that's estimated time remaining an hour and 45 minutes. Um, you can see, of course, the battery usage by app if you click here to see what app is actually using the most batteries. But if you go down, you see that you can turn on the battery saver automatically after your battery reaches a certain point. Mine is set as 25%. But look at that, there's a battery saver status until next charge. You can turn it on. So you guys don't see it, but my screen just dimmed. And not just that, it puts also the CPU in a uh, slower mode so that it doesn't take as much power. Now, one of the things that you might notice when you use this mode is there might be some battery issues due to uh, some battery, some performance issues, sorry, due to this. Uh, but basically, if you're on power saver mode, uh, it is will it will really really show um, a very very extended battery life. So of course, uh, there's all sorts of things that you can do, but you can you know just put it in battery saver mode, and you know you plug it back in, just put the switch back to off. Uh, automatically on some machines it will switch to off when you actually plug it in but um, in some cases it doesn't so just remember to go there and turn it back off uh, if you want to have your full brightness and your full you know CPU power available if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching